Welcome to CMAR, everybody. Um, crypto is my retirement. This is your host, King Harry III. This is you watching me on my journey to $10 million. If you're watching this today, this is not financial advice. I am not your financial advisor. I'm just on my way to $10 million. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Join my Patreon. Join my membership. So today, um, I'm just going to vent. You know, I had a pretty long week. Um, personally, you know, things are getting much better. Uh, the market's getting much better because it's, you know, when the market's pumping, your emotions always get better. You know, I am, crypto is my retirement. So if crypto is tanking, then uh, my emotions would definitely be affected, unfortunately. Um, so, you know, I have a deadline that I'm trying to make. By the 1st of April, I have a product that I'm launching. I have several products that I'm launching. These products are not exclusive to crypto and digital. You know, I'm not like everybody else. I'm, just gonna, I'm not just going to give you guys NFTs. Um, I have a physical product that will have some um, digital attachment to it, too, like real-world utility attached to um, the blockchain, too. And... You know, I'm, if everything goes right, which I think it will, because I got to pick up, I got to pick up my package today. I, I just got to put up everything. Like, this is a, this is going to be revolutionary. And if you know right now, if you're watching me, um, I am a genius. I am a creative genius, seriously. And the things I create and the things that I'm manifesting with my mind, everything you're seeing on here, it literally came from my mind, thoughts, and like you know, I'll make it happen, and not being afraid of being judged. Uh, one thing I noticed is within the next two to three weeks, um, my life would never be the same. Um, I already felt a certain type of way about not having my privacy. I felt like that like a year ago, a couple years ago. Because in the city I'm, li I'm, I'm in, I seen me get bigger and bigger and bigger as time went on. But now um, it's inevitable that um, my privacy is gone. People are going to know a lot about me, a lot about my past, a lot about my family. And I'm prepared for it because I have nothing to hide. You know, anything that happens, it happens. And I'm willing to defend it or do whatever I have to do about it. And as I was sitting back and I'm just realizing that, like, you know, there's so much to offer in this world. There's so much, and this is just beyond just being good. There's certain people that's like, hey, be positive, be positive. You know, like, I'm going to be honest with you. I can't, like, I don't like being around people that are just so overly positive that they're just blinded by things that they should be negative to. I feel like there's a, a balance. And I want to thank all my viewers, because the guys that's watching this right now, 90% of the time, if you're watching this video, that means you really like my content. That means you really like hearing what I have to say. So I have to thank you for that. Thank you very much. Thank you for the messages that I get across the country. Thank you for the telegram situation. Like you guys don't know, understand like how that really affects me emotionally to know that um, people really enjoy my content, man. And this is only like a short time. You know, I can't imagine, I can imagine doing this for like two, three years, five years, like, the demand for me is going to be ridiculous, and I'm starting to see it day by day. And I just want you guys to know that I'm really going to give you guys the best I can give you guys. So if, you, if I can give you the best I can give you, give me the best version of yourself, which means that if you're going to comment, make it count. If you're new to my channel and you're going to comment, make it count. Because I do let the haters hate. I let the haters hate. But there, there will be a time where I'm not tolerating certain things. If I keep seeing you over and over again, um, feeding my channel would just, just like, it's like, it's obviously that you don't like me, but you continuously be here. There's only a couple of haters that I'll tolerate. But if it gets to the point where it's just like, dude, like you have nothing to do and your claims are so whack. 
If it gets like that, then you're going to be gone. You're going to be gone forever when it comes down for you being visible on my channel. Now, this will be a channel that's going to have millions of subscribers. It's going to be extremely controversial. It's going to be, it's going to, a lot of people are going to cover me. And a lot of people are going to cover me, not for the fact of just crypto. It's going to be because it's so cringy. And it's okay. I'm prepared for that. Um, I think I'm like one of like the, the most legit entertainers, the most legit comedy in crypto, like legit comedy. And what do you expect? I expect a lot of battles. I do. And I want the people that really like me, don't get offended. Do not, do not let the moments of me fighting, the moments of me going crazy, steer you away from greatness. Because, you know, I'm going, I'm climbing the tallest mountain that ever existed. I'm telling you right now, I'm looking up, and this is the tallest mountain that ever existed in man. And only few got to the top. And I'm sitting here looking, and I'm like, man, I got to go through bears, mountain lions, God damn it, Bigfoot, um, other climbers that want to steal my food, you know, people that, you know, that the government, <laughs> you know, the government is up there and they're trying to make sure certain people don't get to the top of the mountain. Um, there's just so many obstacles that I'm visually seeing. And a lot of people are not built for this. A lot of people are not built for what comes with this. And I'm not afraid to meet the bull by the horns, to grab the bull by the horns and put him on his neck. That's what I come here to do. You know, I come here to destroy the competition. So if you are competition, um, be prepared if you want to compete. Because I'm not playing and I love what I do. And I'm here to, to take the crown, whoever you are. It's pretty much like you're going to get down or you're going to lay down. And I'm going to take this to the highest level that can possibly be taken. I am a businessman. I am a father. I am a black man. Okay? And I'm definitely going to go hard for this. Now, um, personally, I've been receiving so much hate. Um, even on, like... You know, there's certain people in my life that I look at and I'm just like, I'm raising the bar even in my personal life. I'm just venting, y'all, because I like venting and posting it on YouTube, and I don't care what people say. I like doing this because I like going back and watching it to kind of like, it's like therapy, and I go back and see myself. You feel me? So this is what I do. So just enjoy the show. You're getting a side of one, a genius content creator. Um, and I think I'm going to do this just on Instagram. If you're on my Instagram, I'm letting you know right now. I'm going to give you a heads up. I, I'm, I'm only going to add 10 more people to my Instagram. I'm going to be one of the most or the most unique Instagrammer in the history of Instagram. I'm going to tell you why. Okay? I have zero followers. Wow, just a bunch of people with zero followers, right? I have zero followers, and right now I believe I have 3,320 um, follow, people that's following me. I'm only going to allow 13 more people to ever follow me on Instagram. And that same logic is going to apply on Twitter. That same logic is going to apply on um, on any platform moving forward when it comes to followers. The Telegram is free for the game. I do have a private Telegram as well. I do have a Patreon as well. Then we're not be limited. But the people that get a chance to see my personal life, and in the future, I won't be doing this on YouTube because it would just be all crypto is my retirement content. So this is just a treat for you guys. The guys that appreciate it, or the guys that have, you know, they enjoy seeing shit like this. Um, so I'm only going to accept 13 more people. So let's just say I get to 
3,333. So that's what it is. It's King Harry III. My life path number is three. I have a lot of threes in my life. Three is an extreme magic number when it comes down to my life. Like I was literally born for like this super thing that I'm still figuring out right now. Uh, that's a long story. So I would never go over 3,333. So every time somebody unfollows, I'm going to add somebody new. If I see people not active, I'm going to take people down and add people. So I'm always going to stay at 333. So imagine when I get big and, I, and then these people, I finally, my, my cousin come home and we finally work and we finally bring all this attention over to, to, um, to Crystal's My Retirement. And Crystal's My Retirement is helping my cousin. Like we're just literally working together. It's going to bring a lot of attention. I'm thinking at least 100,000 followers. It's going to just appear. It's going to be a whole boatload of people because it's so different. If I was a rapper, it'd be cool, but I'm doing something so different that it's um, people are going to want to see what the fuck it is. You know, and we got a plan. So um, what I feel about Sheep GF, I think... I need to add more of my portfolio over to Ship GF. I think that I'm going to be a huge influencer on Ship GF. Those GF, I did a lot. I think um, the situation between Maddie G and Frontier and me and you know it got so nasty. It got so nasty that you know certain damage is just can never be unrepaired in a sense. And I'm willing to squash anything if anybody's willing to just apologize for their actions because I'm not a bully. You know, I just know that when it's, when, it's, when it's time to fight, I fight dirty. I fight. You know, I'm going to kick you in the face. You know, I'm not the person that's going to stop fighting. Somebody had to pull me off you. You know, I'm that guy. I'm sorry. It's just what it is. Um, so, um, those GF. Um, it's just not my token. It's not my token. And I'm going to stop doing so much commentary on it. I'm going to still talk about it every once in a while, but I think what I've done has been solidified in the legacy of those GF, and I will forever be honored and remembered even if I stop talking right now. Just my legacy is just imprinted in those GF, seriously. Um, now, with Ship GF, I think there's a tremendous upside. I think... There's not too many content creators really taking Ship GF and actually, you know, trying to help build it. And their admins are extremely uh, friendly and they're very respectful and they're not judging me. I'm pretty sure they've seen plenty of my content. They're pretty sure they've seen the, the cringy stuff, but they see value and they see greatness. And, you know, I respect people who don't judge. And allow greatness to allow greatness to shine, and I think they're giving me that opportunity. So I want to thank them for that, and I'm going to give them a hell of a show. I'm going to make I'm going to make sure that their token is extremely attractive, extremely attractive, where it's like they're like, man, D- Ship GF is where is that? <laughs> you know what I mean? So. Um, that's one thing. Um, another thing, I donated in a token called Safe, uh, Safe, a uh, Safe S A P E. Some of my members know about it. I can't wait because I donated in, in two shit coins. I donated in, uh, not donated, but <laughs> it feels like a donation, right? I put money in Safe. I put money in what else? Um, what else? Safe and Joker. There you go. Joker. I'm not going to sell it all, but I cannot wait till it goes over a million or two because I promise you I'm going to sell majority of it and put it in Sheep Girlfriend. You know, I feel kind of crazy for even putting that much capital in them to tokens. It's not, it's not nothing. It's not a lot of money, but it's a simple fact of like my Sheep GF bag is not where it's supposed to be. I did put a lot of Sheep GF in in the earlier days. When the market cap was like in the 70s and the 80 millions, and now we're down to like two or three million. And I'm pretty certain this token is going to go to a billion dollar market cap so fast. And I want to make sure that I have at least um, 
a million dollars worth of ship GF, possibly $10 million <laughs> worth of ship GF at the market cap of 1 billion, at the market cap of 2 billion, you know? Market cap of 2 billion, I can reach $10 million, a couple million dollars, that'd be a hell of a show. So that's my primary focus. Um, certain people tell me, hey, um, King Harry III, can you stop talking about so many shit coins? The reason why I do so much um, low market cap coins activity is because that let's just say you get in the crypto game and you realize the gains are in the entry points of low market cap coins. It's like you have to go through something. You have to get the you have to go through the XRP. You got to go through all of these high market cap coins, and then you realize like, hey, I'm missing out on the gains. And then once you get on a on the lower market cap coins, you're like, you know what? I want to get in early, early. So people are going to realize that if you want a quick flip, you want to just flip some stuff, they're going to be in these projects. And I want to be, it's like, that's new communities. So I want my, I'm, I'm trying to put my fingerprints on a lot of new projects. So people, because it's new investors, basically. It's new projects, and these projects are going to start advertising for new investors. And I want to be one of the first guys that come across on these tokens. That's my strategy. Don't hate, okay? If you want to comment on my strategy, make it better, make a comment, because I read everything. I really do. Um, another thing as well, um, my members, thank you so much. Thank you for joining the member. Because now as I step back, there's a lot of people that want you to be successful on the online, but they won't support you. And it's time for me to separate the real from the fake. The people that I support, I put my money where my mouth is. When Maddie G was doing his thing, I used to pay 40 bucks a month. 40 bucks a month on his Patreon. Even though his picks wasn't shit, I picked, my picks was way more in depth, way more profitable. But it wasn't about his picks. It was more about for him to be successful. And I'm going to focus my platform exclusively for the ones that putting their money where their mouth is. And the reason why I'm saying that is because we have too many guys that we have all these group chats. People will like join this group chat, all these group chats, but no mem but no one's spending money on memberships. I get all of this ads, talk to this guy. I get all of this, can you do this? Can you do that? And I'm just like Every, these, there's, there's people that want me to do this, want me to do that, but don't even pay five bucks for my membership. You feel me? And, and it's like people on the outside was like, well, it's people just like, well, well you, um, you should be doing it anyway. You should be, um, no. Like, you know, it's like, and just apply the same logic that I'm saying digitally, but try to apply it in real life. Like, there's a lot of people that swear to your friend, but they won't, if you're down, like, hey, bro, I'll pay you tomorrow, bro. I'm waiting on my check. It's like, just like, let me get this hundred bucks because my bank is tied up. A lot of people would be like, well, I can't even do it because they don't trust you or don't think that you're going to be able to pay them back. Like, they don't, they don't have a type of trust with you. They don't, they don't believe in you. And there's certain people that would get off their butt like, yeah, bro, I got you, bro. Don't worry about it. Just when that shit come, hit me back. You know, like, and, dip, and I got certain people, my, I only deal with people in my life who we're on that level with. Like, if, if you, you would never see nobody that I'm with that, that ain't down with me like that. You would never see nobody like with me. And I will let them go. If you're not game, I'm letting you go. And I want to start only focusing on game. That's what I'm going to do. Right now, I got two game members. I got Bullish Prince of Wales. I got Exoteric Investor. And I got two more other members. Thank you so much. I highly appreciate you guys doing this. I'm going to make sure that I give you guys the shine. Even though you don't want the shine, I'm still going to give you the... Um, I'm still going to give you your flowers for supporting me. Thank you. Because we're dealing in crypto. And every time you buy anything in crypto, there's a gas fee. So if we got guys that's buying, that's trading and spending 30 bucks in gas fees, 40 bucks in gas fees every week, once a week, multiple times a week, but cannot, but 
is always conversating with, with you and content creators, but you don't support not one thing, I find that extremely crazy. And I value myself more than that. So I'm definitely going to be moving a little different out here because I definitely jumped off the porch. I jumped off the porch with open hands and was just super real. And certain people still fuck with me for that. And certain people don't. But it is what it is. I just know that um, I really enjoy what I do. And I, I, like, I just make this video because like a month from today, I just really want to know what's, what's going to happen. How, how I'm going to look, what I'm going to be doing, because it's a lot in store. It's a lot in store from 30 days from today. Today is what, the 25th? Whatever. Uh, excuse me. There's a lot that's in store for me. And I cannot wait to take the bull by the horns and let it go. Now, um, the good thing is I haven't gotten to anything violent. That's good. I haven't, nobody pulled up to my office. I didn't have to put my hands on nobody. I didn't have to shoot nobody. I didn't have to threaten nobody. I didn't have to get into no police. Um, that's great. God is good. And uh, I want to continue it being like that. I, I, I don't want to be in, I don't want to be in danger. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to get into no shit. Because I'm, I'm on, um, I'm, what I'm doing is God's plan. I'm, I'm doing something really magical. I don't want to fuck that up. Um, what else I want to vent about? Hmm. Oh, yeah, sponsorships. Um, if, any, if anybody you know that possibly have a product and they want the product to be advertised on the show or possibly in my live streams because we're contacting several merchants that... I believe will be interested in being sponsored on my show, being sponsored on my live streams. That's 24 hours and they can get X amount of inserts, you know, send me an email. You guys can find it or just leave a comment and we can figure it out or join my telegram and we can talk privately about that. Um, what else is well? What is another thing? The market is going to explode. It's going to explode. Now, the question is, how long will the market explode for? I believe, you know, my opinion, when Bitcoin hits 60K or close to 60K, like 58, I'm going to be considerably looking at taking some profits, some serious profits. I cannot afford to watch my portfolio go up 50X and not take profits right now. The summertime's coming up. Um... I'm going to need a shit ton of capital to move how I want to move this year because I already got I got work lined up for the rest of the year for my business, which pretty much can that much pretty much take care of my employees. Um, I, I, I got enough money to take care of this place for at least, you know, six, seven months ahead. You know, I got enough jobs basically lined up. Um, now I just need to build my capital to reinvest in my show and be, and being able to move. Cause I'm about to start moving from state to state. I'm about to start moving and doing, you're, you're going to, you guys are going to see me doing a lot of different shit. I'm telling you this, I'm telling you this. And once you start seeing that, you're going to know it's real. You're going to know that you're going to be like, man, Harry needs my help, man. Like King Harry the third needs some support. Cause he's, he's doing something that's, he's doing impossible. Basically, because whenever when you can go to zero to 100, I consider that the impossible. The reason why is because everybody doesn't get that opportunity, just like making the NBA. Making the NBA is the impossible. Becoming a millionaire is the, the impossible. Becoming a multimillionaire is the, the impossible. To be financially free is the impossible. The reason why is because there are so many you know, there's so many people and based off the data that it's just everybody's not going to do it. There's going to be certain people that just never going to make money. That's going to never be a success. That's never going to have time to think on their own. And I'm fortunate enough to literally wake up on when I want to go to sleep when I want to um, call shots when I want to um, take risks when I want to. It's an absolute luxury. 
that I didn't used to have when you're talking about four or five years ago. I didn't have that. I was a race to get my time back. And for me to sit here and like, wow, I have people that love me. I got people that pay me on my Patreon. I'm making music. I have a whole bunch of money coming in throughout the rest of the year to take care of my business. My daughter's getting older. My cousin's coming home. We're going to be traveling. You know, it's just a lot to look forward to. It really is. And it's a true blessing. And it's divine energy. This, this is this. What I'm telling you right now, this is divine. I was meant for this. And that's why when you hear that music, that's why I sound like that. That's why the soul, you hit a soul like, whoa, like when you hear all of that, that's the soul. Like that's the soul of a man who's giving you its all. That's the soul of a man that's putting it all on the line. Like this is serious. This is, this is not, this is not, you know, paper cut, kitty cut. This is real life. You, you're watching a real master of his art. You know, you're watching the real, you're watching the hero's journey. This is a, a, a walking hero that's, you're watching him fulfill his journey. And the people that are watching me now, like, you just don't know what I've been doing before this. You don't know. You don't know the stuff I build. You don't know the, you don't know my impact, <laughs> basically. You just, you just jumped in at this part. But uh, if you stay long enough, you will. You will know what happened, and you will be happy, and you will enjoy the experience. You know, I, I believe we're going to do Crypto's My Retirement party. We're going to do Crypto's My Retirement um, events. It's going to be some cool stuff, man. And there's always some people that want that want me to fly out. You know, I receive messages like, hey, can you hurry the third? You want to fly? Come to Germany. Come to, you know, all these different places of the world. And pretty soon, people are going to want to pay me to perform these songs. Globally, we know these songs. I have been blessed. I have been blessed by a higher spirit. You guys will probably never believe none of these stories I'm telling you. I have been blessed. I have been for real. I have been literally anointed by a spirit of God that allowed me to make these songs that are damn near spells that. If you are in crypto, these songs will never leave your mind until the end of time. That's how powerful these songs I have created. And what's going to happen is the, the, the music execs, they're going to hear the songs and they're going to know that this is where it came from. They're going to know where the songs came from and they're going to try to buy me out. Because these songs are going to outlast me. They're going to outlast you. These songs are going to be in the metaverse. These songs are going to be immersed with cryptocurrency, history, culture. I'm telling you guys. And if you're in the comments, please don't be in the comments talking crazy. Please. If you talk crazy, just be crazy enough where I get you. Don't be stupid crazy. You feel me? Another thing, too, now, if you're a black man, now I'm talking to the black people now, if you are a black man, I want you to listen to me. The moment you stop being black, you're dangerous. I'm going to repeat that again. The attention to black people, because I'm, I'm, I'm watching all the black people that's coming in my, my channel, and most of you guys really rock with me, but a lot of you guys are really showing your mental capacity. If you are a black man, the moment you stop being black is the moment you're going to be dangerous and the moment that you're going to be a problem. When I say stop being black, I'm not meaning that, oh, change your skin color or I mean black pertaining to what black means in modern society, being a thug. Only watching basketball, only rapping, only, you know, just not being, not diversifying um, your taste. Like, I like Spanish music. I like a lot of different things. I do a diff bunch of different sports. I take my energy and I place it in different realms and see how does it cook. 
So I am a great rapper. Like, if you ever see me rap, you'd be like, man, he can spit. I can rap. But the universe, I wasn't, I wasn't attractive enough based on the universe to be what I wanted to be. So I just keep doing different things. And this right here is hitting. This pop stuff is hitting. And I, I just want to inspire you guys to get out of the matrix, the app. It's that black app. And it's like if you're not if you're not hip, you're lame. If you're not, if you're wearing clothes like this and you got you got belts on and you looking like a Marachi man, you're suspect, you know, you're gay or all this stupid stuff, you know? But in reality, greatness is me, greatness is you. And I'm going to set an example for all my brothers and sisters to show that. This is what fearless looks like. I'm going to make, I'm straight from the hood. I came, I was raised in the hood. You feel me? I came a long way. And I'm going to show America what, I'm going to show the world what a black man with crypto looks like. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you what it looks like. And I feel like I have a lot of responsibility to uphold the image of a black man in crypto because that song belongs to me. No one can ever take that song from me. It, no one can never re reproduce that. I want you to understand that. No one can never reproduce that song ever. I own it. So, I just want you guys to understand that um, step outside of your mind psychologically and start supporting Cause like this, I'm still talking to black people right now. Uh, just like this, certain people, it's like when we have black swimmers and they finally hit the Olympics, so black track stars. Like no one, the black people don't know who they are until they hit the damn TV. And they don't hit the TV, then that's when y'all, yeah, go ahead, look at her, look at her. But there's people like that that are doing it right now. That's in your face, but you don't protect them. You don't, you don't, you don't fund them. You know, a lot of my business in real life is being funded by people who don't even look like me. And then when I try to get in these rooms, people that look like me is a small percentage of people that actually like, yeah, very small. Very, very small. And I'm watching in the crypto as well. Y'all need to protect this shit. I'm dealing in, I'm in a space that we do not run. I'm in a space where there's real gatekeepers. I'm in a space where people will click up and try to tear this down. Seriously. And I'm humble enough to know when I'm wrong. But I'm going to tell you this right now. This is a war that I'm fighting. It is. There's going to be times where People are going to, like, I'm going to have, I might have to shut up just to get in this room. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, shut up. Don't put that video out and play your role so you can get where you got to go. I understand. But my people, if y'all, if y'all trust me and y'all invest in me, y'all fight for me, can't nobody stop me. Can't nobody stop me. So I demand, I demand every single one of y'all that's watching this, that's, Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. If I sell something, you buy it. And if you don't buy it now, you buy it later. If you're not a member now, be a member later. It's only $4. And I don't give a damn if anybody in here say he's begging or whatever. I demand greatness and I demand what I want out of the universe. I, de I demand it. And if you don't want to get it, you don't got to because somebody will. That's a fact. You build it, they will come. I'm living proof of it beyond YouTube. You build it, you demand it, it will come. I'm not playing. So if you're watching this, I don't care if you're black, white, Chinese, whatever. If you understand what I'm saying, understand that if you're in crypto, you're spending $50 gas fees, $100 gas fees. And you're watching somebody that's literally trying to keep you laughing, keep you entertained, and give you something that the market is scared to give you, which is truth, 
which is uncensored content, yes, we're going to be saying, yes, it's going to look racist at times. Yes, it's going to be funny. Yes, it's going to be cringy. But I'm doing it for the love of entertainment. So why should I wait until I get on Comedy Central or I get on a mainstream platform to actually hit hard? No, I'm going to hit hard now. I'm going to give it my best shot now. Without, get, without what nobody fucking says. So, um, there will be wars, by the way. There will be wars, and I'm trying to get my troops ready. That's why I'm doing this video. There's going to be wars. There's going to be people that try to tear me down, y'all. It's going to be, I guarantee you, there's going to be videos of people saying, look at this guy. Look at what he said. Look what is going to come, and I'm prepared. But I'm letting you know this right now. I expect a lot from y'all. Because if you're watching me, then you know how I'm coming. And I need 110%. If you don't want to support me, leave now. Because what is your use? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No offense. But if you're not gang and you're not rocking with me, don't, don't subscribe. Don't, don't even watch me no more. Don't watch me no more. Because there's a billion of you guys, a billion, and I'm going to run through billions of people. So the couple thousand I came across, if you're not gang and you're not really like looking at me as somebody great, looking at me as somebody to subscribe, looking at me, looking at me as somebody that I want to win. Come on, look at inflation, bro. Chips are like three dollars. There's no more dollar stores. The membership is literally four dollars. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A train ticket is like three dollars. Someone giving you entertainment, someone that's somebody that's on a hero's journey, or you can find you can watch and not say anything. But if you're not willing to put your money where your mouth is, you should just shut the fuck up. Because I don't mind listening to people who who demand shit out of me. Because when you put your money up, it's like I right, show me some respect. When I when when you give me a show and I pay for the ticket. I'm going to give you some feedback. Why? Because I paid for the ticket. So you should be offended if I paid for your show and I don't like it. I should have the right to comment. Agree? But if, I'm, if I didn't pay for your show and I'm just talking my ass off and commenting, what's the point? What's the point? Why? You shouldn't. You should keep your fucking mouth closed. You didn't pay for the show. Don't disrespect me. Don't come to my show and disrespect me. You didn't pay for shit. So, yes, I'm demanding the real people stand up. Because things are going to change. And I'm, and, and I'm keeping it 100 all the way through until the end of the road. And if I lose subs, I lose subs. Who cares? This shit don't pay my bills. But guess what? It will. One day it will. One day this shit going to pay for everything to the point where I don't, I don't have to do none of what I do anymore. I, all I could do is guess what? Once you guys continue being my members, continue supporting the greatest channel in the world, I'm going to give you I'm, my, my attention is going to be all for you. Why? Because you guys are going to be giving me millions of dollars, which means you expect high quality content. You expect engagement. You expect your opinion to be heard. You expect good shit. Not just, oh, well, take the money. No, 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 no. I take your money, and I say I got to come harder. That's what I do. I don't know what the other guys do. You know, I, I see content creators that have been taking super chats for years, have been taking memberships for years, and never upgraded their show. Their quality is still the same. They haven't got a better computer. They haven't hired a team. They haven't got a camera. They've been giving you guys the same content. No hating. But you know what? What did they do with what did they do with your money? Might not be your business, but I'm letting you know what you what I'm gonna do with yours. I'm gonna make sure you guys get the best experience. I want you guys to pay me so much that I'm gonna buy um, land in the metaverse. And my members are for free. Because you pay for the land. Why wouldn't it be for free? Why are you going to have perks? Think about where I'm going with this. And 
I just had to do this thing because I'm chilling and I sit back. I'd be like, why people really, they don't, I don't think people really get what's going on. I think they're chilling. I think they're just being entertained, watching a billion people. And I don't think they really understand when they see somebody that wants something. You feel me? I don't think people really understand. And I'm going to get what I want. I don't care how many people I got to smack in the face. I don't give a damn how many YouTubers got to get smacked down. I don't really care how many people I got to block. I'm going to win. Losing is not an option. It's not an option. We're going to fight to the death. That's it. We're going to fight to the death, family. So if I'm ever in war, they're going to have to wave the white flag or we're going to kick the door down and take over. I'm sorry. We're going to take over people's shit. We're going to take over communities. Please, after this video, if you feel the type of way, if, you did not, if you're not my members, don't even say, don't, don't say nothing negative. Because who gives a fuck about what you got to say? Who cares? You don't care enough to even say, hey, I want to see a show. So guess what? I pay for what I like. I pay for Netflix. I pay gas. I pay for a whole lot of shit. But guess what? I critique all that shit. If I don't like what Netflix saying, I'm going to send their ass an email. If I buy a burger and that shit tastes nasty, I'm going to talk to the manager. If I go pay for a movie and it's full of shit, I'm going on the internet and talk shit about it. That's me. Because I respect my dollars. Yeah, I respect my time, but I definitely respect my dollars because I go out here and spend my time to make these dollars. So I just guys want you to understand that. Have low expectation of me if you're not putting your money in this, in this game, in what you see. Have zero expectation for me. But the ones that super chat, the ones that sign for the memberships, expect the best. I want you to expect the best. Like, Harry, you ain't coming hard enough. Harry, this ain't funny enough. Harry, you're not putting out enough content. That's what I want to hear. I want to hear that from people that actually matters. You feel me? That's what, that's what I want to hear. And guess what? I'm going to do it. And y'all going to put me under pressure. I want so many members where I'm like, I want so much members. I want so many people supporting me to the point where I'm firing people. I'm like, I'm, I'm snapping in the real world about why we don't got this Tesla. Why we don't got this actor. Why we ain't like, why we're not in the jungle shooting this. I want to get to the point where I'm losing my mind because the pressure is on me. Right now, ain't no pressure on me. I'm kicking it. Because I know people like what they see, but now it's time to turn up the notch. I'm still going to come hard, but guess what? The people that's talking shit, you're going to vanish fast. If you're not my members, you're going to vanish fast. You're going to be ignored. Nope, I'm not going to respond. Or the comments going to be deleted. Or my chat room is only going to be members only. It is what it is. Because guess what? There's a lot of people out here that they can lose it all. And you, and you guys still won't give a fuck. They can, they can lose it all, get sick, fall off. And you guys still won't. You guys really don't care. You don't care. It doesn't, as long as it doesn't affect your real life, majority of y'all won't give a fuck. So why should I? Why should I? Because you can't, you can't chat in my chat anymore. So pay. Pay. I want to see, I want to see what people, I want to hear from people who actually pay to be in my game. The simple fact that I don't, on my Instagram, I have no followers should show you that I don't give a fuck about what nobody says. The simple fact that you've seen my videos, you've seen my content, you see how I'm coming. I don't give a fuck about what you guys say. I love creating, but I love loyalty. I love loyalty really, really bad. I really, really do. I'm a very loyal person. If you're my friend, I'm very loyal to you. I will fight for you. I will take risks with you. 
a lot of things I do for my friends, a lot of things I did with my friends, with my friends, for my friends. I'm a super loyal person. For real. Hmm. That was a great conversation. Good venting. I'm glad I'm getting off my chest so I go home and live my life. <sighs> so, yeah, I just wanted to say this, man. Um, you know, just, just understand what you're dealing with. And um, I, I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Um, crypto is my retirement. You guys have a good day. Thank you.